to show you something here. It's really interesting. So uh, this is a eucalyptus tree in our garden. One of them, one of many species we grow. Wendy cut this one down uh, last, I guess it was in the spring, maybe early summer. And uh, the uh, juvenile growth uh, always comes back when you uh, coppice or pollard them. More so coppicing, which is cutting them right down. Pollarding is cutting them to more of a stump like that. So that's a pretty good size stump. We had the bucket truck come several years ago and cut those and they've all re-sprouted back again because we do use them for firewood. So uh, the mature foliage on it looks like this. It's very long. And then that's the juvenile foliage on a eucalyptus. So if you're a, a flower ranger, a florist, and you like juvenile foliage, you cut them back, most species, and they will uh, give you this nice round foliage. So these are mountain gum. These are 100-foot mountain gums here that I grew from seed years ago. There's another big one I cut the top off uh, in the summer, I guess it was early summer, and it's all re-sprouted back again. And uh, you can see the juvenile foliage on it. And these uh, big ones here, these mature ones, they have the long leaves. So eventually these will uh, elongate, but we're gonna keep this uh, pruned back is more like a big shrub because we're, there's just so many of them in here. And they are, uh, I mean, they do take up a lot of space. They're pretty messy trees, but we do love them. And uh, don't plant your palm trees under them, folks, because they do suck up a lot of nutrients. That's for sure, suck up moisture and nutrients, but they're pretty uh, tropical looking trees here uh, year round. They look like that on Salt Spring Island in this growing zone. So anyway, just thought I'd let you know, you can cut them back, never cut them in the winter, never cut them in the fall. I always cut them in the spring or summer if you live in the northern zone like us, okay? It can be detrimental to the tree if you cut them too late in the year and you get a bad freeze. It can actually kill even the hardiest trees, all right? Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers.